Welcome to episode 11 of the tutorial series LiveWire 3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we are going to look at pagination in LiveWire 3. I want us to go ahead and create an all users component. So in this case, we are going to run the command php artisan make LiveWire and then all users like that i press enter that command will create for us two uh, things a live wire class and the live wire view file sort of that will be placed inside the folder called live wire and now i would like us to modify all users and what i want us to do i want us to do two things I want us to import the user model so we can say use app models user I also want us to import the pagination trait so in other words it's called the width pagination trait so I'm going to import it use live wire with pagination And then I will be able to use with pagination inside our class. So we can say use the with pagination trait like that. After that, I can be able to load our users. So what we will do when we are rendering inside our render function, where we're returning the view, or just like us to put a comma and be able to have the square brackets and we can have users be given by user paginate in this case we are calling the user model and then paginate and then we can pass in the number of users we want for each request or each pagination in each page after that, I would like us to open our view file, which is located inside um, resources views live wire. We have all users.blade.php. And inside here, I would like to just paste a bootstrap table. So we are going to just copy a table from bootstrap.com. And uh, I've copied the table from the header up until where we have the first row i don't want to copy the whole of it and then delete afterwards and then i'm going to paste these ones here like that and then i will close the body and then i will also close the table after that inside the table body i would like to have a for each loop so for each users as user like that and then i will remember to end it here at end for each like that and for each then of course the first value here i want is to be the loop of index so in this case i can just say loop index then plus one just to give our record some nice numbering after that in our table because it's a typical laravel user table we will have user name column called name it will pick the names of the users and then maybe i can also be able to show the user email like that this other column let me just leave it like that then of course here I want to change and call it name. And then of course this other one I will call it email. The last one maybe we can call it action. But there is really nothing because actually what it will be displaying is something at MDO. I also want us to include the pagination links down here. So you have a span. And then 
after having the span inside the span we are going to have our pagination links so i'm going to just have users links like that and then we are going to save it i also need to have the um, route because we are going to use this as a full page component what i'm going to do is um copy that and we will we, the, route, the route will be called users and then the class of course is all users and then for us to be able to use it here we will still also ensure that we've been able to import it above here so we are going to have all users like that i'm going to save that i want us to attempt and see if we can be able to load our users so localhost 8000 and then forward slash users localhost 8000 forward slash users now you can see we are having the users being displayed of course the pagination is messed up as you can see and the reason why this is the case is because the paginations by default uh, are set to take care of live wire but in this case because we are using bootstrap we must be able to do a workaround and so what we are going to do we are going to publish the config file by running the command php artisan live wire full colon publish publish hyphen hyphen config when i run that command our configuration file has been published if we are to open our files the config files so are you are you open um, config there is a folder that is called config inside here we are going to see that we have a a class that is called live wire so inside here we have sort of like the configuration the default ones so you can see the the the, the, the name spacing is up live wire and then of course the path views live wire and then the components is components layouts up and then of course placeholder the lazy placeholder is set to null and then the file uploads all those things we are not going to talk so much about that um, i just decided to show you such that you can be able to see what is here and then at the end we have pagination theme tailwind that is what i wanted us to modify i'm going to set it to bootstrap and i will save now if we go back and attempt to refresh now you can see our pagination is very okay so we have the pages, the different pages, and when we click on a different one, it's able to move to that page and it's activated and so on and so forth. It is possible for us to also use Casa for pagination instead of just paginating like this. And Casa is usually used for data sets that are very big. And what you happen is that in, as opposed to whatever it is that you're having here, whereby you are displaying one up to 12, of the different pages that are there for when we use cursor we'll, ju we'll just have the previous and uh, next page only here so we just have previous and next and then also we will not be having the page number the way it's being displayed here so let us do that i want us to go to our live wire um, all users class and inside here instead of saying user paginate i will say uh, casa paginate so casa paginate if, if paginate if i have typed it well then we expect it now to work so if i refresh and then now you can see we just have previous and next so if i go to the next page which is supposed to be page number two now we are having page and we are having some string there and then next page next page next page 
like that. So that is Casa Paginet. And you can be able to use this if the data that you're dealing with is a lot of it. And then we can also be able to use Simple Paginet. I will change this to Simple. And when we use Simple Paginet, still the pagination is similar to Casa Paginet because what we have is uh, previous and next buttons. But the difference is for this one, we will have the pages displaying, the page number displaying. So let me just um, visit the first page without pagination such that I show you what I mean by that. So now when we have visited that, as you can see, if we say next, when we click next, you can see it's giving us the page number. When we click next, it's giving us the page number and so on and so forth. So basically, that is how you can be able to work with pagination in LiveWire 3. And um, obviously, it's also possible for you to modify and customize the pag pagination views. You can be able to pu publish the pagination views and then modify them. But even though that is possible, I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial episode. This is the end of the tutorial episode. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. By doing this, you'll be notified when I upload another awesome video. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can also share it. You're welcome to engage in the comment section. Thank you very much.